In this video, a particle is launched from a point on horizontal ground with speed 32 meters per second at an angle of 65 degrees above the horizontal. Find the length of time the particle is over 5 meters above the ground. OK, so visually, we've got this particle projected up into the air at 32 meters per second. OK at an angle of 65 degrees to the horizontal. And we want to know the total amount of time the particle is above that line. OK? That's our job here, that 5 metre line. OK, so let's write out the SUVAT equation, the SUVAT information that we have for the horizontal and vertical components. So we've got S, U, V, A, and T. S, U, V, A, and T. OK, so um, the displacement, I don't know. Uh, the initial velocity for the horizontal component will be 32 cosine 65. And the vertical component will be 32 sine 65. Uh, the final velocity I don't know. The acceleration is 0 for the horizontal and minus 9.8 for the vertical. OK. Um, so find the length of time the particle is over 5 metres above the ground. So I want to know the times at which the displacement for the vertical component is 5. OK. So that's what I will need to find out here. So... I want the time, I don't want the equation with V in it, so that means I'm going to use number 3, OK? So, S equals UT plus 1 half AT squared. So the S is 5, the U is the 32 sine 65, so 32 sine 65 times T, plus 1 half times A, so minus 4.9 t squared. Right, let's move everything onto one side of the equation. So we've got the 4.9 t squared take away 32 sine 65 t plus the 5 is equal to 0. So we've got a quadratic equation for t. So what I want to do, I'm going to pop this into my quadratic solver on my calculator. So menu uh, A and then polynomial, degree 2, we've got 4.9, uh, then minus 32 times sine of 65 degrees, and then 5. So this gives me times of 5.741. So I'll go to five decimal places just so I've got them completely. And t is 0 0.17774. OK, so these are the two times. So that's at time 0 0.17774, and that's the time 5.741. So the amount of time that it's over 5 metres is the difference between those two. So 5.74100, take away 0 0.17774. And that gets me 5.56326, so 5.6 seconds to two sig fig, okay? And that solves the problem.